Yo guys, what is going on today? I have a brand new video. This is how to get the devs Xbox. So this works for the Xbox One, doesn't work for the 360. Uh, even though the modding tool that I use to mod the Xbox 360, uh, you can do it on that. So what you want to do is just go into settings. When you're on that, you want to go to system. So I'll show you that here in just a sec. So you just scroll down to the fourth one where it's systems and console update and like info and all that. And what you want to do is press left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger. And then boom, uh, developer settings will pop up. So you just want to click on that. And then it's going to, as you can see here, I can just enable it because I've done it. Uh, as you can see here. I could just enable it right now but what you want to do if that doesn't pop up for you where it says sandbox id you want to get rid of the retail and then put in the code i think it is xd and then it is ks.1 i'm pretty sure so it's k yeah s dot uh, one once that is entered, what you want to do is just press start and then it's going to ask you to reset your Xbox. This takes a few minutes. I sped it up really fast here just so you don't have to be waiting. It took around, I think it was a minute to reset, but uh, it is it is fairly cool. You can troll your friends. There isn't much you can do with this actual dev Xbox because it isn't like a... a a closed code this is open to the public so anyone can use it so uh, basically now my Xbox is just restarted and I'm going to show you what you can do in just a sec as you can see here the Xbox is very glitchy uh, everything isn't loading up you just have to make sure your controller is on uh, it does take a few seconds to respond there we go so as you can see here on the right it says dev home so uh, you know it's working now uh, I've clicked on this, I've only waited literally around 20 seconds for the thing to load and then gave up. I don't know if it actually loads up, uh, I don't know what it's for, but it, it's cool to have. You can send screenshots to your friends and just say, oh, I'm now a developer at Xbox or whatever. Uh, you can also tell your friends to do this and it really fucks up their Xbox if they don't know how to uh, reset it. So uh, as you can see here, I'm going. I'm scrolling through all the parties. You cannot join any party. You can't send any messages when you're in this mode. So it's kind of useless. Um, as you can see here, everything takes so long to load. I'm trying to look at my games and all this. You cannot play any games while in uh, dev mode, as you'll see in just a sec. It usually asks you to install an update, even though the game doesn't need an update, and then say like error. As you see here, I was waiting on Rainbow for I don't know how long, it was only like 10 seconds, but that's, that's fairly long for the game. So um, we we will go to the App Store now in just a sec, and I'm going to show you what you can do here. So basically what this mode allows you to do is, if you get a separate code, you can actually try and get a developer's uh, key, and then that allows you to play unreleased games or closed games or even if you make a game you can put it on the store but as you can see here we just scroll over as you can see there's nothing in the actual store it's just plain so what you want to do is go into search okay it kind of fucking fucks up yeah it gives me an error here i think it gives me one more time and then it works so it is very glitchy but what this allows you to do is um uh, play games for free so these are all the ones that like companies are working on uh, maybe with Kickstarter or whatever but uh, it's not open to the public so that's why you need a devs key to do it because only certain people can play the game and then obviously you can report glitches or whatever so as you see here it says try it out again I just spammed it nothing's working but it does work in just a sec as you will see here so you go into search and then boom now it's working it does take a while so what you want to do is just enter game G A M E. don't put an s at the end because that won't work it's very precise and uh, this will pop up so these are 
some of the games you can play if you have a separate key. So, um, if you read on the right, there's a little description of what it is. Uh, this is why it's so glitched, because it's not an actual game. They don't put up, like, screenshots or anything like that. As I said, it's closed, so they don't put uh, the work into putting it into store. They just put it into making the game. So you can see all the info, the size of it, uh, and who made it, and whatnot. But uh, as you can see here, everything here is free. I did try to download it, but it says in um, installation, installation stopped each time, even when I reset it, it's still there. So guys, if you do know how to install these, please let me know, as it would be fairly cool to play. See, see here, you can get uh, DLCs for free for whatever the game is. I don't really know. Now, I haven't messed around with the settings completely, so... Uh, I know you can ban people permanently, well not permanently, but I'm pretty sure you can ban people with this mode really easily because I've seen it all over the place, people saying that they've been able to ban people now really easily. So guys, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the, I guess you could say gameplay or whatever. But uh, if you found this video useful guys, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here as I upload these videos uh, a lot now. So guys, remember you can use this for trolling your friends, tell them to do this, and um, it'll fuck up their Xbox. The code you want to enter when you reset it in just a sec, I'll show you in just a minute, is just put it back to retail, all caps, and then it should be back to normal. So guys, remember, don't do this too much, because I don't know if you can actually get banned for this. I've been banned a few times for doing the modding thing. So Xbox are fast on catching people that uh, do this. So if you want to reset it, just go back to settings, go to system, console, updates, and info, and then do the same thing. Left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger. And then developer settings, click on that. And then where it says sandbox ID, you just put in retail, and then that is it. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.